So, uh, this is for you. It's a little gig from us. <laughs> okay, okay, here we go. Here we go. This whole um, experience has been pretty surreal to us. I mean, uh, I think just starting from the age of 14 and um, just everything happened so fast and all of a sudden, ooh, nice. That's great. <laughs> Do you want to wait, wait for that? Oh, it's on a roll there, man. Um, okay. Mm. We're in LA because we're playing at Coachella and we're um, also doing some shows in uh, San Francisco and our own show in LA and we're also uh, performing at Conan O'Brien's show. So we've been out on this tour, um, and uh, it's really been extraordinary in every way. Um, almost all the shows have been sold out, and people have just been like extremely enthusiastic, and just uh, there's been a lot of you know love wherever we've gone, which is a fantastic feeling. Um, and and you know I mean like just simple things like we're playing the biggest like we've never played venues this big before and it's you know it's a great feeling knowing that you can sell sell that out and uh, just knowing that people are are liking what you're doing you know. Our dad's always been with us on tour. He's been to all our shows, and uh, he also helped us record our all our albums, basically, and plays yeah. bass on the new album. And so, it just feels natural for us to have him with us on tour. And he does the sound for us, um, and he's also there, you know, just for moral support. But yeah, I think it's really special what we have, like that we can work with as a family, and um, it's really like it's it's good because I'm like I'm at an age 
where I think most people sort of, they aren't really around their, their parents, you know, they want to break away, but I get to like really get to know my dad and it's, yeah, I like that a lot. And so he thinks of this way to do it. He like takes a French lesson while he's sleeping, on like a little Walkman. And so the but the Walkman gets skipped on Amle du Fromage, and so it's just playing that over and over while he's asleep. And he wakes up, and it's all he can say for an entire day. And he Wait, has to what are we talking about? On Dexter's Laboratory. Uh, Did you ever watch I mean, that? We watched that. It's like Cartoon yeah. Network. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so it just like he's trying to like beat this quiz. And he didn't study at all because he was working on like mad scientist shit. And <laughs> the next day, he's just like wakes up. He's like, I'm gonna do from
Yeah, I think being sisters makes things so different. But at the same time, I can't really compare because I've never been in a band with anyone else. But um, you just know this person inside and out, and uh, you um, don't have to worry about you know them changing or um, you know you can totally trust them. And I I know that Clara's gonna do what she does, and she knows that I'll do what I do as best as I can. And um, I don't feel like I have to yeah like I have to flatter her or like you know be this other person in front of her, which I think you know a lot of other bands have those kind of roles and. Um, you know, it's just no, we're completely honest and sometimes too honest and can be brutally honest and, you know, hurt to just feelings, but I think it's better to actually say what you mean and what you feel. And, and I don't feel like our relationship is going to, like, of course, you never know, knock on wood, but I feel like it's in a really good um, state and it's been like that for forever. And we're only getting stronger by doing this. It's just, you know, Taking responsibility for for what's going on and uh, taking the pressure together has really made us even closer. Okay. Them and that hair, banging your head like it was so good. She's so cute. You didn't watch it today, right? Yeah. Perfect. I remember you told us not to watch I know, I'm like, I'm so, I'm so impressed. It was like, I think around 2009, just before I quit school, and I was talking about that, and he was like, I don't think you should quit school. You know, people say they get, they have, you know, they get chances and they have to take them, but I think chances come again. And I was like, that is not, that is not what I need to hear right now. No, I think it's nice that... And that you have the way. Have yeah, I really there's just, differences, and I think that's really like important. If I had bangs and like I flat iron my hair, it would look pretty really. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. creepy. Not creepy, just like yeah. clearly we're yeah. sisters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think we're trying to enjoy the moment and not think about it. It's really important when you make music to not think about those kind of things and like because all of it I feel is related to success and like striving for success and I think that that's it can kill your like musical instincts in a way and I'm really scared of that you know just like um, trying to write a song and then all of a sudden you're you know it's not it's, you know I'm, I'm 19 so it's not that long ago that I was just sitting in my room playing my guitar and now all of a sudden I'm out here doing it, you know, and getting to play for people that really, you know, it, it, it's really amazing when you, when we're playing a show and I can just look into someone's eyes and I can see that, like, this has really meant something to them. Like, it's, uh, it's had, like, an impact on their lives or something, you know, it's like, that's really powerful. And it's also very strange, um, but that's sort of, like, why I, want to make music because it's you know like it's <laughs> it just goes comes back to our very silly band name first day kit and like how uh, I want our music to, to help people and um, because that's what music has always done to me it's always been a helping hand through my life and um, and so I'm just hoping that you know people will hear it and, they will feel less lonely or, or something. You got visions of the past, let them follow you down. They'll come back to you someday. And I found myself attached to this railroad track. But I've come back. reaction and their um, happiness you get you know a feeling of purpose that your life has a purpose and that what you're doing is purposeful and that it means something to other people you know it just I don't know it makes you feel like 
other people get you. You know, you're doing something that matters. And um, I don't know, it's, but I think it's also something else. Like at a show, I feel like it's almost like a magical thing. Like, I don't know, like looking at someone and singing a song that means something to you and, you know, getting that connection is almost like a spiritual thing. Yeah. You got visions of the past, let them follow you down, or they'll come back to you someday. And I found myself attached to this railroad track, but I'll come back. I think uh, you know, meeting people at the shows or seeing their reaction to the songs really, I don't know, yeah, it, it, it makes me feel like I'm doing something good. And uh, it gives so much back, you know, like it really inspires me to, to write more because I feel like there's a purpose for what I'm doing, you know. Body so close to you in the night.